everybody. Welcome to the Pristine America Christmas Special. Of course, I am your host, Fizz Williams. And I just wanted to put together a beautiful variety show for you all this year. This is our third or fourth Christmas special, and I wanted to do something special. So we're going to have a couple songs, we're going to have a couple laughs, maybe a sketch or two. We'll see. But I would like to call on the stage our first guest today, Mr. Oslo Bololo. Hello, sir. Hello. Okay. Good evening, am, Fizz. Am I supposed to kiss this ring? Uh, no. Okay. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Um, that was weird. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about, about yourself, Mr. Uh, Bololo. Well, surely I need no introduction, but for the plebeians out there, I am Oslo. I have never heard of you, so you, you, we do need an introduction. As I said, for the plebeians such as yourself, Mr. Williams, I am Oslo Bololo, star of the opera stage. Okay. And I am in town for one night only. Ooh, nice. One night only okay. for my new production, which I wrote, directed, and star in, The Christmas Kraken. Whoa. The very first opera written and directed by me. Okay. Uh, wh where are you playing? Are you playing here in Metro Detroit, or where are, where are you playing? Yes, we're playing at the Fox Theater. Really? That's, yes. a, that's a, a big place. All right. I thought it was rather small when I saw it. Where, you, are you used to pl playing... Uh, uh, I, I'm used to the Met Opera. Oh, okay, okay. You're okay. Uh, so are you opening for someone bigger? Because honestly, I've never heard of you. Well, how many opera stars have you heard of? Go ahead and list them, please. Uh, Pastrami Pavarotti? Uh, that is a sandwich at the Carnegie Deli. Uh, Honestly, I can't name one opera singer. Uh, that explains why you've never heard of me. Okay, so you're the headliner. Who's opening for you? Th there's no opening act in the opera. Everyone is there for me. They don't care what goes on before me. Right, and how much are tickets to this shindig? Tickets start at $400. Okay, and is there dynamic pricing like... Yes, in, like, that, that's like standing room only. If you want a seat, <laughs> that's $800 okay. to start. Okay. Now, is anything included in this, like a VIP package, like backstage, get signatures, get autographs, uh, do some key it's, bumps? It's a not poke a kiss concert. It is an opera. It is for classy people who bring opera glasses and watch quietly. And they sneak in bottles of white wine, perhaps? You don't have to sneak bottles. You can order bottles. Okay. So tell me a, a little bit more about the, the actual uh, story of the opera. Um, now... For, the, for those of the plebeians who don't know, I do know how opera works, but for those who don't know, when you're singing, are you just singing nonsense or are you singing a, a story? <laughs> singing nonsense? Yeah, I, 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 I spent... I, this, is for, this is for the viewers out there. I spent over 1,000 hours carefully crafting the lyrics of every song in The Christmas Kraken. It stars me as a wayward mariner lost at sea, alone on a sinking vessel, when suddenly a beautiful gargantuan kraken pierces the heavens, tentacles ablaze, lands before me, and we begin our whirlwind romance. Oh. Culminating, oh, as oh, you can imagine, oh. with our wedding on Christmas morn. Oh my god. Uh, you laid a lot of track there. Let's back up a little. Um, you are romantically involved with a monster from the sea. Is that what you're, you're saying? It is a love story. It's not about people. It's about love. Okay, you, you, okay, love. Okay. Now, is this based on a true story, or is this something that like you want to happen? It is semi-autobiographical in the sense that I have fallen in love with various sea creatures okay, over can, the course of my life. Can we can we get a pristine America exclusive? An exclusive like. Can we get like a little bit of an insight into the true story of one of these instances? Well, I don't know if you've ever been to SeaWorld. I have not. But the, the, they have these tanks where you can pet the manta rays. I've let's heard of, I've let's heard just of say one of the manta rays petted me back and it was, it was all over from there. And w <clears throat> I have so many questions. What happened after that initial touch? What kind of rating do you have on this show? Uh, TV 14. Um, <laughs> we canoodled. Okay. Now, is this a, 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 stinging, a stinging ray? Did that sting you? 
Or we stung each other. Okay, I, I, that's that's what I thought that it was going, but didn't need to know that. Um, okay, uh, now what would a guy like me have to do to get a, a free backstage pass? Or do you give those out? Have a lot more tentacles. Oh. How about this? How about I stop at a, a local uh, seafood shop in Eastern Market, pick up a live octopus, like the kind they throw on the ice during Red Wings games, and I bring that as a gift to you. Can I get backstage then? Maybe a picture taken. Like I said earlier, we could do a few, a few key bumps of Coke. You know, whatever. Party a little. I'll, I'll make you a deal, Fizz, because yep. you seem like a nice guy. If the octopus is a seven or higher, you can get in. All right, like like a like a Seattle seven or like a Detroit seven. A New York seven. A New York seven. Okay. All right. I, I think I know what where you're going for. Well, I am very excited to have you on the show, and uh, if you have nowhere else to be, I'd like to bring on uh, a couple more guests. You've got me for the hour. Okay. All right. I like what I hear. Our second guest is his name is. Lorenzo Claus. They call him Larry for short, I believe, and I think he may or may not be related to the actual Santa Claus, Mr. Larry Lorenzo Claus. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate uh, you being uh, inviting me. Um, I don't, I don't love that introduction. Uh, you have to mention my brother. Okay. Okay. I get it. Okay. You, your, your booking agent say you want me on. I say okay. I'll go on the show. We'll spread a little word about Italian culture. But no, you say, uh, oh, I want to talk about Santa. That's, if, that's you. If it makes you feel any better, they told me he knew about opera, so. Oh, all right. Okay. So they, they just basically lie outright, wherever they go. Now, okay. Larry, you didn't like the way I introduced you. How, if you were Fizz Williams, how would you introduce Cut out any references Larry? to the fool in red, my brother. Okay. We're not on speaking terms right now, all right? Okay. Okay. And all if you right, do your research just a little bit, you figure that out. Yeah. Okay, I just met you tonight, sir, So, uh, and you do not have a Wikipedia page, so I apologize. But, um, you know, fame is a fickle thing. You find that out one day. You, uh, have, have you had a brush with uh, the, the, the limelight, Well, sir? I mean, it could have been me or my brother just as easily. Everybody knows Santa. But, uh, Everybody knows Santa. Well, sure, we've both been I around think... for like a thousand years. I, I lose track. 800, 1,000. That, that it, checks it, out. The, the centuries yeah. pass, you know? Yeah, they and, do. And, uh, you know, he gets, he gets the sack which brings out the toys. And uh, I'm left here without any magical powers except never aging. And uh, he's the one who gets the fame, you know? You yeah. think he's a generous? He's not giving anything of himself, a man. Come on. I haven't gotten anything from Santa Claus since I was like eight years old. No, I mean, he, you know? he gives the toys to the kids, but they, they don't cost him nothing. They just come out the bag, you know? It's, it's nothing. And the truth is, he completely uh, did, did a total snow on his Italian heritage, all right? He did a snow? He, he, he just washed right over it, yeah? Uh, he he okay. loses his accent. He pretends to be somebody who goes a ho, ho, ho. Come on. Oh, I, I mean, if anything, I people gotcha. are like, what is he? Is he a German? Is he? <laughs> Nobody thinks of Italian. <laughs> You know what his original name was, right? After Santa. It was San Antonio Claus. Lorenzo and Santonio. We were the brothers back then. Come on. Give me a break. I did not know that. Of course. He, he changed his name. He, he, it's shame so, to be an Italian. Was it like a Woody Allen situation? He wanted to sound less ethnic. Exactly. So he had to change yeah. his name. Yeah. I mean, yeah. except for he's, he's uh, you know, nice to the younger people. Woody <laughs> Allen, maybe not so much. Anyway. Bad reference. I, yeah. I, I actually we'll did, cut, we'll cut I did that the out. opposite, actually. Yeah. Like, I was originally... Steve Johnson, <laughs> but I decided Oslo Belolo had a little more class to it. Would you consider that cultural appropriation or no? Well, what country is Belolo a surname from? Which culture am I appropriating, please? Go on. It's not Italian, I tell you that. Sounds like it could be. Portuguese. Though. Oh, you know a lot of Portuguese Belolos. I do. Oh, well, I'd like to meet them someday. Yeah? Not really. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you want to check uh, uh, Santa's list for those Bololos, right? Yeah, everybody yeah. know about everybody know about him. Nobody know about Larry. All right, I try and I try and well, promote uh, Italian culture. Right, and that's that's when we put out this ad what, that we needed guests, uh, and you replied, mm -hmm. and uh, now I, you have the stage. Uh, anyone in the world can can hear you. Uh, what, your message. All right. What would you like to tell the world about yourself? What you're doing. It's not about me, man. And, and I've been promote. around a while, it's fine. I've, I've seen the world, it's okay. All right? Okay. Uh, you, you go around long enough, you see everything. But, but I just want to talk about the origins of Christmas, yeah? Yeah, uh, yes. It, it come from Italy. All right, not a lot okay. of people realize this, but uh, everything that you associate with Christmas actually come from Italy. You know the tinsel, yeah? 
Of course. Yeah. Spaghetti. All right. You know, you know the ornaments on the tree? Cow testicles? Meatballs. Meatballs. Come oh, on. What's the matter with you? Meatball. Fizz Williams. Come on. All right. You know the sleigh, right? Santa's sleigh? Of course. You lay it down. It's, a, it's an exact replica of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. <laughs> I mean, like everything you associate with Christmas. The color red, spaghetti sauce. Come on. <laughs> the color green? I mean, I guess. The Emerald Hills outside of Rome? My outfit, man. Look. Look at me. The How, color green. Is this an Italian? Yes. This it is, it is, looks this, more Northern European. This is by a famous, uh, world famous uh, designer way back in the day, but I don't remember his name. Uh, it was a long time ago. Stanley Tucci. No, what? Stanley Tucci, man. You yeah. think I ain't seen the terminal? Come on. Uh, that's a good movie, but let's not bring that into it. No, a long time ago, I forget I forget a lot of things. The truth is, you might notice I have a little bit of an accent, yeah? I, I, I don't speak a word of Italian anymore, man. I, you forget this stuff over the years. Are you sure? I mean, sure. I barely remember the, the, my grandma's house is a smell. I mean, the, the, it was a hovel. It was, it was peasant days, but still. Ever since that magic bag, it, you live too long, it becomes, you, you see, you see 800 Christmases, it's, it's all the same. Okay. And it's just an insult. I'll tell you the biggest insult of all, though, the green, what? right? The green okay. associated with Christmas because of the little elf costumes and stuff. This probably looks like an elf costume to you, right? This is not an elf costume. This is my outfit. Uh, Santonio, he, he disrespect me. I wasn't going to say that. He put his little that. guys in my outfit. <laughs> Come on. It's, it's he he put his little guys in his little your his little elf, elf friends, the ones that make the toys. Oh, yeah? he, he, that, so those are those are real. Oh yeah, up in the North Pole. Yeah, I mean he had to run away. I mean I, I had a I had a hit out on him for a while, honestly. Like it was it was two hundred years of bad blood. But uh, oh, since then I forgive. I call it off. Most of the hitmen die over time, you know. And things are just okay with you and uh, I, we not, won't mention his name. We but. haven't really talked. No, it's fine. You can mention his name. I just I, I would prefer not to be associated with him. Except for if it promotes Italian the culture. No. You know? Fair enough. I, I do have to ask, sir. Ask away. Uh, so so you've been gifted with Christmas magic, is that true? I mean, it's, it's less uh, uh, Christmas magic and more like I can make any food taste like garlic bread. Um, so, so you can't gra grant any Christmas wishes? I mean, I, I get the one like every year. Santa, he, he grants all the wishes. He grants, you know, that's why he become famous. I, I only grant the one wish every year. Now, what are you going to use your Christmas wish for this year, though? Oh, yes. I don't get to make the wish. Good question. No, no, somebody else got to make the wish. Well, I, I can't do it. I'll use it. Well, I mean, um, have you been um, salty or uh, uh, spicy this year? <laughs> uh, I would say more spicy. Okay, we can we can work with that. Okay, you know what, Oslo Bololo, uh, Steve Johnson originally, yeah. Uh, he remembered. You got the, you got the Christmas wish. What what do you wish for yeah, more than what anything do you want? in the world? Hmm. A sold out show at the Fox. I'll use my uh, my Le Lorenzo Claus powers on you. Anything yeah. I want. Anything you want. So I could cure all cancer. You could all cure the all the cancer in the world. You know nobody wished for that yet. It's weird. Wow, I'm very I surprised. I wish to be able to do a solo on this show. Of my show, The Christmas Kraken. Granted. <gasps> wow. That is a powerful magic. I would love to It's Christmas love magic. To do that. I mean, it's a little power to it, but I mean, Santa, just like the bag, he pulled everything out <coughs> and uh, he's, he's a kid's toy, he's a, he's a new Game Boy or something like that, he's a new rocking I, horse. I love that. I get well, one wish for somebody a year. I and, love and that. I'm at the point where I don't even care who, who make the wish. B so better, luck, better luck next year, Cancer. That's right. Okay. Yeah. No, I think cats are going to have a really lucky year. All right, gentlemen, uh, we do have a third and final guest uh, on our show. His name is Andy Quaid. He is the younger brother of renowned act actors Dennis and Randy. Um, and he is here to sell some of his artwork. Uh, Mr. Andy Quaid, uh, where are you, sir? Uh, can you make your way to the stage, please? Okay, oh, over here. Oh. To your right, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, follow our voices. Uh, hey, hey, can you help, help help me out, gentlemen? Over here. Over here. Oh, oh, be careful! There's a plant there. Hey, oh. Hey. oh, okay. Sorry. Watch your balls, man. Yeah, watch, watch your balls. Watch your balls. All right. Hey. And good. there's a seat right behind you, sir. I got you. Yep. Hey, 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 I got Straight you. down. I got you, boss. How are you doing, Fizz? It's great to be here. Good. I'm great. How are you, Andy? Hey. Over here. He's, he's, he's fine. He's fine. All right. Yeah, yeah. Andy, uh, how are you, sir? Oh, man, I, I've not been better in my whole life, Fizz. Good to hear. Good to hear. Now, uh, when we put out the ad to have a guest on the show, you wrote me an email saying that you have a new book of your own uh, original works, uh, photography, and other types of print. What? You know, and you're, you I, I don't it. limit myself to one media, Fizz. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I like to I like to get 
all of that expression out there, you know, and, and share it with the people. And it, it carries a message, you know, and, and that message is you can't trust the government because they've got drones in the sky oh. and they'll scan your retinas if you're not wearing the dark sunglasses. That's true. Yeah. I, okay. I, I did notice you were wearing sunglasses indoors. It's an odd look. Yeah, I, yeah well, I mean, it's okay. if you don't want to get probed, you can't get scanned. Because if you don't get scanned, you don't get probed. Right? Uh, that oh. tracks. I mean, hey, okay, Mr. don't take it from me. Take it from Randy. Hey, uh, Fizz, it's uh, Bill Flanagan here from your favorite Boston pub, Flagons and Dragons. Uh, look, I wish I could have made it to your pristine America holiday shindig, but I got a leprechaun convention in town. These little green bastards are in hot water because they tried to use counterfeit gold and a merger with the Lucky Charms folk. Hey, hey, don't accept gold coins from that little guy. U.S. dollars only. And well, if he ain't got it, then stuff his tiny ass in that pot and launch it into the harbor. Look, uh, hey, uh, I gotta run, Fizz. Uh, say hi to the pristine America folk and, uh, you know, enjoy 2023. Right? Uh, oh, I mean, hey, okay, Mr. don't take it from me, take it from Randy. Uh, okay, Mr. Quaid, uh, tell us about your artwork. Oh, so th yes. it's a very personal collection. I mean, uh, probably my favorite piece is, 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 is the self-portrait that I did. Uh, oh, great. Went out in the Sierra Nevada. I mean, I, it, would you guys like to see it? Yes, please, yes, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because, I mean, our audience uh, online, they're gonna want us see your artwork so that yeah. you know they they know what they're buying so i mean oh wow look on. at that it really kind of speaks for itself right um it's honduras okay. is lovely this time of year oh i mean uh, i'm sure it is but uh mr mr quaid uh what exactly are we looking at here well i i wanted to keep the nudity tasteful oh so okay. it, it's it's mostly as you can see it's mostly backlit yeah you know so yeah. the silhouette, it, it really sends a message, and the spy satellite in the background also sends a message. You gotta be paying attention here. Okay. But, uh, I mean, there was some grooming involved. Oh. Um, you know, maintenance, as you put it. I mean, I don't look bad. Okay, but <laughs> when I see, I see a big peninsula there. I mean, on I don't like to brag, but. Uh, sir, Okay, what, what's another uh, picture? Oh, uh, well. Or, or, or uh, work that you can show us. Hold on. Another sample. Hold on. Uh, watercolor. I also like to dabble in watercolor. This was painted entirely with my feet. <laughs> I must say, I do like Djibouti. It's pronounced Djibouti. I mean, that's how you get down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now. Where are you selling these? Do you have a website, or are, the, are these being sold in brick and mortar stores? Mr. You know, I, I wanted to sell them on the web, but the government controls it. So oh. every time I try to put in a password, uh, it doesn't work. So I've been mostly leaving them in discrete locations throughout the city. And then if you pick one up, I mean, just you know, throw a five under there, or something like that, you know? <laughs> I, I really work on the honor system. Okay. It's a good plan. Yeah, okay. I respect it. Yeah. I, I have one more question for you. Uh, at minimum, one more question, Mr. Quaid. How did you get here today uh, from your home? Um, surprisingly enough, the uh, Uber driver uh, told me it would only take like four or five hours. And uh, I think we got here in like three, which is not bad considering, you know, I live four and a half miles away. I was going to say, did you li do you live in Grand Rapids? That's three hours about? No, or? no, no, Troy. Oh, goodness. Yeah, okay. I mean, but I mean, hey. How, how, much, how much was that Uber ride? About a month's <laughs> salary or? Uh, I'm hoping the books move. Okay, okay. It's a pretty good clip <laughs> and that I could find my way back to where I dropped them. All right, all right, great, great. Now, Fizz, yes. I I'd like to lob an objection here. Okay. You, you brought up Mr. Quaid's brother. Which one, Dennis or Randy? Uh, either. You brought up Mr. Claus's brother. Not once did you mention my famous brother. Who's your famous brother? Surely you can tell from the resemblance. Uh, the Johnson family. Brad, Brad Pitt? The, the Johnson family. Oh, Dwayne. Reginald Vell Johnson. Oh, Reg from Family Matters. Yes, yes. I see it. Now. I see yeah, it. It's, uh, it's pretty obvious, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. I, I, I don't. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, you don't? No. Well, have, did you, before you... You sound like a Johnson, though. Thank you. 
Be before you purposefully blinded yourself, Mr. Quaid, did you ever watch the show Family Matters with uh, Steve Urkel? No, I've heard of it. And maybe the movie of Die Hard, since it's a Christmas show. Does he play the same character in both Family Matters like and Die so. Hard? I like to think that the kid he shot was Urkel. He, well, the secret about Reginald, he, he really can only play one character. He's very one note. He was a yes. little limited, yeah. yeah. And he can't sing a lick. He's no uh, Daniel Day-Lewis. Now, you mentioned singing yeah. earlier. I, we'll I, get, we'll I get to did. that in a minute. I just have one more question for each of you. Uh, what's your l love life like? Uh, are you guys dating, married, uh, and family situ like immediate family situation? I've kids. actually never met either one of these gentlemen. That's not what I was asking, uh, Mr. Yeah, Quaid. I don't know but I mean, love life is like either. But that's uh, Mr. Quaid, uh, Mr. Quaid, uh, I, I'm, what, I'm, what's your love life? I'm open to experiment. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. They sound lovely. Okay. Larry, uh, <laughs> yeah. what's your love life? You know, that's, uh, that's a really personal uh, topic. I, I had one love in uh, 800 years. It was Rosita. And um, wouldn't you know it, uh, she was a star chaser. And uh, yeah, you may know her as a Mrs. Claus now. Oh, I thought you meant like... Yeah, and that ain't to my wife. It ain't my Mrs. Claus. There is no Mrs. Claus for Larry. When you said Star Chaser, I thought you meant like Gamora from Guardians of the Galaxy. But Screw it, you, you're Ms. Williams. About, why? <laughs> so, are you currently... Rosita, why? Oh, I'm sorry. God. I didn't mean to have you cry, oh sir. How can we console him? Can, no, can, no, 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 my hat. Don't, don't touch his hat. <laughs> it hurts too much. He's very large for an elf. Oh, slow? <laughs> yes. The only thing that can console him <laughs> is one of your songs. <laughs> or maybe a nice meal. <laughs> Larry and Andy, don't you think we should encourage uh, Oslo to sing him a song? Would you like to hear a song? Larry, it's a please. A song about love, though. <laughs> Rosita! <laughs> We promise it will make you feel better. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, please. I'm ugly crying. That's okay. That's I, okay. Looks I, fine to me. <laughs> it just, it, it hurts so much, you know. You love somebody, and, and and all they ask about is what's your brother doing? What's your what's your you know more attractive, richer, uh, more famous brother? Change oh. your change your last name. What's Jaleel White like? <laughs> all the time with that. Right? He, you he's know. Kind of, he's kind of a jerk. Yeah. I imagine so. I, 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 uh, I thought he was probably a little less like Urkel, a little more like Sonic, you know? <laughs> a little oh. more like Sonic, for sure. Honestly, Chili dogs by the tongue. You know, Fizz, I don't want to give you the wrong impression. You have, I mean, you, you upset me, but, but it's good to feel something in my heart, you know? Okay. Even if that something is the deep sadness of the loss of Rosita. Okay. Because for so long, I've just, uh, I've, been, I've been floating through life, you know? Mm -hmm. And, and uh, you've opened my eyes, but I think maybe his music could open my heart. This is a song of love. Found, and you can find love too, friend. It's called Tentacles of Love. Thank you, Oslo. Now, Just briefly, without, I don't have my backup music, but I'll, I'll do it. Would Acapella. you like to sit or would you like to stand up? I can stand if you'd like. Oh, that's completely up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. Do you need anything from me? Your silence. What do I see far across the sea? Tentacles drifting toward my heart. A monster, they say, but I say no way. You and I are now to part. Tentacles of love wrap around my body and warm me all night with your sweet suction cups. My only hope in this lonely sailor's life is to find a tentacle <laughs> to make my loving wife. 
tentacles of love, tentacles of joy. You brought me such happiness. I'm your sailor. Yay! <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. Larry, did that did that <laughs> make you feel a little bit better? Oh yeah, I, I feel so good right now, Miss <laughs> I, I went on a, a little emotional roller ride myself because uh, my wife, um, Cheryl, and I are we're having a little bit of a rough patch. So that touched me too. Thank you so you much. Say it about you, Fizz Williams. Shut up. Thank right. you so Shut up much. Up okay. I feel like there's a bit too much probing going on. I might have to go. A Andy, are you, are you okay? Oh, you or? If you get the right tentacle, you don't mind the probing. I mean, that, uh, that was beautiful. I, I, I'm going to have to excuse myself, I think. Uh, Tickets are only $800. Okay. Uh, oh. Andy, is there anything we can do oh. to help you? Do you need some Dramamine or uh, whatever that medication is to, so no. you don't puke? You, you can't take that because they've got trackers now. Oh, okay. Are uncomfortable with the show of emotion from, from one man to another? <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with probing. <laughs> okay. I well, suppose the topic was a little risque. We, we are coming to a close to the segment, uh, but okay. uh, a Andy, um, what? Yes, Viz. One, one last thing. Uh, what's, your, what's your last pitch uh, to, to, get, to get your book out there? Where, what website can people find it at? What's your, what's your final pitch oh, uh, for, your, well, for your art book? What we've taken to do, Fizz, is, um, excuse me, still a little lump in the throat there. Um, I'm going around to small neighborhoods where they have a, uh, a book exchange and I'm stealing those books and leaving my books. So wherever books are found, Fizz. <laughs> okay. Even those little neighborhood libraries. If you're gesturing, I can't see it. Uh, the, <laughs> how did you know that I was? Very keen here. Oh, sense, yeah. okay. I got Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I know that you uh, are on a time crunch, uh, Mr. Quaid. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you, you have a, uh, a phone call with, with Randy to talk about... Uh, uh, chemtrails. Chemtrails and Dark Brandon and all that stuff. Um, so we do want to, to thank you for being on the show. Well, it's, it's, it's mostly been a pleasure, Fizz. Mostly? I mean, yeah. If there's I mean, one, not quite all. I mean, you know, I, I, okay, before you leave, if there's one thing I could change, what, what could I do better, Mr. Quaid? Oh, it's uh, less tentacle porn. Oh, okay, I agree with you on that. That seemed like a conversation to have after the show, before <laughs> yeah. the show, something, not, not during the show. That's a little weird, man. Okay. I do not make pornography, sir. I make art. I'm like, that's smut. You know what they say, man, the difference between art and pornography, you know it when you see it. Huh? Right. <laughs> oh. All right, gentlemen. That is the end of this segment. We're going to have to throw it to a commercial real quick. Uh, thank you for, for uh, our guests on uh, so far today. Uh, I have learned a lot, and I, it was an emotional roller coaster. Thank you for the song. Thank you for uh, some insight into your life, uh, Larry, and thank you for sharing uh, your art and photography, Mr. Quaid. It, it's this has been a pleasure. Uh, over here, uh, to to your left. Okay. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, and thank you, and we'll be back in a couple minutes. It's Christmas time with Fizz and friends And all the gang is here We can't get through the holidays Without podcasting here When Torth and Clinkley get their gifts The old man smiles proud Let's gather round the old laptop And turn it up real It's on health on a shelf station This is pristine America Global woman's about to take that snow away Christmas is another summer's day We 
We'll share some laughs and eat some snacks Pass out in our seats There's turkey pie and candy canes And lots of Christmas treats From state to state, from town to town Chris travels with his gear He's gonna need some bail money Lots of Christmas cheer Get some elf on a shelf to stare at you This is pristine America Global woman's about to take that snow Christmas is another summer day Get some elf on a shelf to stare at you This is pristine America Global woman's about to take that snow away Christmas is another summer everybody. Merry Christmas. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Pristine America Christmas Special. I hope you enjoyed all of our sponsors, all of our, all the commercials. Matthew, McConaug Matthew McConaughey, going through the Lincoln commercials, all that fun stuff. Now, we have a couple more guests that we'd like to have on. First is a local singer-songwriter troubadour, Joe Everyman. Joe, come on stage, buddy. How is it going, my friend? Hey, good to see you again, Fizz. It's been you know, a long time. I need to make it Merry a habit of, of, of standing up when people come on to shake their hands, because that's, that's proper, right? I usually just sit down, but... If I'm not passed out, I usually make that uh, okay, good to hear. priority myself. Good to hear. Now, when we put out the ad that we need a guest on uh, this variety show, you sent me an email saying that uh, you would like to perform a song and that you have a new album coming out. Absolutely. Now, what can you tell us about that? Well, uh, as you may recall, a number of years ago, I was on here promoting my first record, Kicking Down you, the Troubadour. You were on our very first episode. I was indeed. I, I knew was, that name was familiar. This kick-started my career. I got like it ten. Did? I got ten new MySpace friends after that. And uh, MySpace? Yeah. Is my, it 2007? It sure is. We've okay. Gone, there's a wormhole in okay. this town. I'm not sure if you knew about that. <laughs> but uh, my new re record is called Far Below Average Joe. Okay. And I've been working on a uh, number of songs. And matter of fact, I wrote a song especially for your program this evening. Now, is this a sequel album to your previous album, Below, Below, Below the Average Joe? That was actually a, a B-Sides record. Oh, okay. All right. I'm not completely familiar with your catalog, but well, I'll get I, released, it on Apple. I released that one exclusively on eight track. <laughs> okay. I thought it would take off, but it uh, didn't. No, I heard cassettes are coming back, so yeah, try that. Hopefully, definitely vinyl. Analog is far superior. And what? What are? Oh, yeah. Let's get back. You mentioned you wrote a song specifically for this program. Talk about that. I did indeed. Uh, it's called Pristine Christmas. Okay. Uh, and it's about. Family, specifically your family, not so much my family. I or noticed else. you mentioned my underage kids. Uh, I have a daughter named. Uh, I write a lot of songs about underage kids. <laughs> I'm a rock star. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right, like uh, uh, Ted Nugent type stuff songs, right? Along, along that. Okay, and, yeah. uh, sp speaking of uh, Mr. Nugent, he's uh, pretty political. Oh, he and, is. I uh, didn't know that. As you remember, I was on tour with Bruce Springsteen a couple of years ago. And okay. uh, the boss himself has uh, gone on to do this uh, really popular podcast with former President Obama. I've, I've heard of that. I mean, what's more relatable to the average American than a famous rock star and a former president oh, talking? Oh, yeah. Everybody can relate to that. Everybody, yes. So I, in fact, have uh, taken a slightly different angle. I'm a slightly lesser known rock star, and I'm doing a podcast now with former Vice President Dan Quayle. <laughs> Is he still alive? Oh, yeah. He's yeah. very much alive. Is he hanging out down in, where's he from, Indiana, I believe? 
Uh, yes. And but, I mean, now he lives in a bunker far, far underneath Indiana where they, where they pump him full of uh, life-giving fluids. Okay. Isn't he the guy who could not spell potato correctly? Uh, he since learned to spell potato correctly okay. since, since that earlier debacle, but now he forgot to spell carrot. Good, because that was 30 years ago. He's, he forgot to spell carrot? Yes, he forgot how to spell carrot, I should say. You Sometimes look, I forget you, words to songs and to interview questions. And what, what's what's going to be the basic topic? Uh, what are you guys going to talk about? Um, all kinds of things. You know, really? uh, it's 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 called the quail hunt with Joe. <laughs> and uh, you know, we, we we discuss heating and cooling. We discuss uh, boat trips, and we discuss uh, how society is being crushed under the weight of a dark technocracy. It's fun for the whole family. For the whole family, you could talk about Zuckerberg. Uh, Who's Zuckerberg? Yeah, for you know the Facebook guy. Uh, I'm you talk about Elon not Musk. Facebook. You talk about anyway. That's ne neither here here nor there. Now you said the 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 show is called the Quail Hunt with Joe. Indeed. Now can you think of a very special episode you could have involving another former vice president that went quail hunting and had a, an incident? Do you remember Dick Cheney shot oh, a guy Mr. with a Cheney. shotgun? I do, do you remember, remember that? that? That happened in real life. Yeah. And somehow he, he, he never got in trouble for it. He shot my uncle and my dog, too. I don't think he meant to. Dick Cheney did? Yes. <laughs> it was a huge, huge, he, huge honor. Did you waterboard Pre him before? Or? Um, that's classified, classified? but uh, okay. from what you might be able to glean from the redacted files, that's a distinct possibility. Okay. Well, that is good to hear. Now, we are going to get to our next guest, uh, Miss Misty Keynes. Oh, my God, you guys. Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. Hi. 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 All right, Santa. <laughs> Sit on Santa's lap. Yeah. All right. This is officially my favorite episode. Whoa, yeah, mine too. Yeah, uh, Misty Keynes, uh, were you partying in the, uh, the green room in the I, back a little bit? or? Uh, let me tell you. Okay, be careful. I we don't have any napkins on set. I a really awesome cast party for the Christmas Kraken. And I'm going to tell you something. Those people can party. Christmas Kraken. Now, earlier in the show, we had a, o Oslo Belolo uh, mm. sing a song about Kraken. Mm. Is that the same guy, or is this a different Kraken uh, um. production? <laughs> Okay, first of all, you guys need to follow your MySpace because Oslo Belola is amazing. <laughs> what <He's> incredible. <laughs> Big influence. Thank what, you. What, what, year, what year is it? 2007. Oh, Fizz, it's Dr. Animus Ranka, your friendly professor of human behavior. I'm currently calling from the set of a reality series where members of an ongoing love triangle compete in a baking competition. Fortunately for all of these contestants, the show is set in international waters. Otherwise, they'd all be committed to mental institutions for a litany of personality disorders. I'm sorry I could not make it to your pristine America holiday event, but quite frankly, this network is paying me an obscene fee to consult on this atrocious gathering of lovesick vagrants. See you in 2023, Fizz. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so yeah, MySpace. So, Kraken, they're, they are big on MySpace. That was a pretty big gulp of... <laughs> She's releasing the Kraken, man. Yeah, her, okay. It's Christmas time. Yeah, tell me more about this cast party. I'm extremely interested. Oh, my God. I'm so Were you doing, like, craft services or well, logistics? Were you guys doing key bumps back there? Were I we... get in any way I can into okay. the backstage, okay? okay? I mean, that's where the fun starts. Okay. Um, so I don't care if I'm, you know, sweeping the bathroom floor or filling Helen Hunt's tampons. I really just try to get backstage as much as I can, and then I just go to town and I party with the cast. You're welcome what? to one of my shows anytime. <laughs> You remind yeah. me of my third, fourth, and fifth ex-wife all rolled into one. <laughs> well, I it's basically am mirror. three women rolled into one. They all one. had the same name. What was it? Because you, um, you only marry women that have the same name, but I forgot what that name was. You told me on the first episode. Anyway. Martha. Martha. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, anyway. So what... That's kind of an ugly name. So. Oh. They were ugly women. Oh. <laughs> now... <laughs> Apropos. 
Now, is Misty your given name, or is that a nickname? Is it short for Melissa? Uh, no, this, this, okay, I come, com <laughs> I can't talk. I come from a long line of, of elfish people, okay? Okay. But you don't just get into the elf community just because you're born there, okay? So there's like an initiation? There's, oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's like deep underground bases full of elves, and you you do not get in just because you have a background or you have a family tree or a life size stocking for your entire family to live in. Um, you have to go in front of Santa, and he has to assign you purpose. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is like deep. I didn't expect to have to go into this. But okay. So what? What kind of questions does Santa ask you for you to become part of the the elf team? I mean, I don't know. Like, it's I don't remember. It was like, oh, what do you want to do with your life? And like, what? How are you gonna like appropriate this holiday more for children? And uh, you know, commercial needs of the season. Okay. I don't, it's just, it gets really annoying. Anyway, that's, I don't know. It's too, it's mind bending really. Okay. I, I just, I just decided I didn't want to do any of that. I wanted to go have fun with my life. Absolutely. And I just it's all picked about. up and I just took off and I went to LA and New York and I just started looking for people who were filming Christmas movies. And I just started blending in. Okay, what brought you to uh, the Detroit area where this is being filmed? Well, funny you should mention it. So Christmas Chronicles three and a half is being uh, filmed right now in Roseville. Oh, the, the one starring uh, Kirk Cameron. No, it's Kirk Cameron's and Goldie Hawn. Okay. All right. Anyways, Asked they an are really good in bed. They, you wouldn't think those old people can move, but they can. Goldie Hawn? Was uh, Kurt Russell there? He likes to watch it all. Okay. And he, yeah. Okay. That's what I've heard. Yeah. Okay. Bad experience. They've been right. together a long time. You got to spice it up. You know <laughs> what right. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. All right. Let's, we, we have one more guest that we need to uh, get in on this segment, uh, Miss Helga Holly. Oh, Yeah. Yay! Welcome, Helga Holly. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, look at this. Here, this is for you to hold this. Oh, thank you. Please be careful. He has, he is oh. the, the, the pivotal uh, person who designed, oh, here, you rock and roll. You can hold oh, her. Oh, yeah, look at her. She's, 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 so she's a rocker because she's got black oh, hair. It's like my neighbor. Very special one secrets? for you. Yes, it is. Oh. Yes, please have a seat, ma'am. Thank you. Um, oh, and, uh, okay, so now, in, in the email that you, you sent me, uh, you said that you take care of the, uh, the misfit toys. Uh, from yes. the actual island of Misfit Toys yes. from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yes, and, and that Teddy, he is not up for adoption because he's mine. He was actually mine. He was given to me without the key for his butt to make him wind. And okay, you know, I was waiting yeah. to see where you're yes, going with that. The, okay. I, 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 do, for my butt. He, he, I, I do see a small hole there if we can zoom in. He is. He, that, he's and, supposed uh, to have a music yeah. box and there was no key, so he never played music for me. Now, in this area down here... Yes, I, there's, there's the music box. There's a music box right here in the, the mid-section of them. Okay, so I believe you. Yes, so yeah. so he inspired me to, to help and in, in start the Island of Misfit Toys, and we take all the toys that maybe somebody doesn't want because they have a little issue, like like Molly here, who had premature balding, um. and, you know, a lot of the little girls who she was normally given to, um, they, they were afraid that they would go bold. Oh. So so we you know we're trying to remarket her for 
for, you know, maybe some middle-aged men. But oh. we, we haven't decided how appropriate that is. Another um, Christmas miracle. Yes, yeah. but, but you know, <laughs> Santa's, Santa's toy protective service came to the island and said, well, you just have too many toys here. Oh. We, we have to do something about it, and we have to really work to get some, some adoptions, and, and we call them the, you know, the toy tender takers. We're hoping that we can get more people to join them. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? You are in luck because we have a, a special phone line that people can call in oh. and adopt uh, one of these. It is 1-888-FIZZ-WILLIAMS. Uh, and they can call in and adopt whatever. Yes, and, and if anyone, like like Annie here, you know, she we put a bandage on because she has an injury. And oh, we, and we want what to happened? I don't know. She came from, the, from the, the factory like this, and nobody could find the proper piece of material to keep her stuffing in. So we put a bandage on until we have just the right uh, adoptee apparent that will know how to fix Annie. I have a question. Is the island island a, a no-kill island, like a oh, no-kill shelter? Absolutely. Okay, Although good. occasionally good I, I, I get a little upset with some of the testy ones. Um, you know, I, I've had a, a couple injuries here and there. I, uh. I see you have a bandage on your middle finger there. Uh. Yes, yes. Well, well, Charlie in the box um, was having a particularly rough day. I don't like that guy. And, um, and he just, just, I was trying to, you know, wind him up and get him, you know, exercise. He has to have his exercise every day. We all do. And he didn't want it. Uh -huh. And he just snapped it to me. I got like six stitches. Okay, what, what's the proper procedure of punishing uh, well, a misfit toy when they act up like this? We don't like to call it punishment. Okay. But, you know, I do secretly call it the guilt trip. So okay. we play movies uh, with wonderful Christmas music like Santa Claus is coming to town and where the, the naughty little toys can see Santa handing out other toys. So I, I tell them if you keep being bad, you know, we know that you are also on the naughty list and you'll never get to go with a little boy or girl. Okay. Well, it's if this was the island of the Misfits toys, they must have had a pretty cool life before they came. They got to tour with one of the best punk bands of all time. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say. No wonder they're so banged up. Yeah, the, you're, you're a rock guy. There's a band called the Misfits, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't know much about them. Maybe this was Glenn Danzig's uh, doll. I can take <gasps> oh, this that's Danzig. Uh, yeah, um, maybe. Fun. It okay. might be why her winder is not working very well. Somebody kept yanking on her ponytail. Now, yeah. Misty, uh, how do, I was going to ask you, how, yeah. do, how do you like Baby Secrets? Uh, well, first of all, I absolutely love her. She reminds me of the burnt building that my my elf dad left me in when I didn't have a purpose. And, um, and you know, I'd like to give it to my daughter. My daughter, uh, her name is Meg. Oh, uh, okay. and, and she... Uh, well, it's she goes. She, her her, her full her full name is not Meg, actually. Oh, hmm? that's a nice name. Well, it, it, it's a Very small feet, but if you pull this, <gasps> she'll start I was gonna talking ask. to you. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so exciting! I can't wait. What? Hey, what's up, pristine America? It's your boy Jimmy Garbanzo here. Wow. Five years of this show. They just keep letting Fizz make them. They just, they, nobody can stop him from making them. He just keeps doing it. Incredible. I was a guest one time at, 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 in Hamtramck at a live show at Planet Ant Theater. It was great. I gave you all some great tips, uh, great gambling tips. And I'm back at it today. I got three for you uh, for the year 2023. Uh, number one, you're going to want to put all your money on Monkey D. Luffy finding the One Piece and becoming King of the Pirates. This is the year. He's been at it for about 10 years now. Uh, this is the this is when it's going to happen. Uh, number two, my, my second pick. Uh, in the Agatha Christie book, and then there were none. I think the murderer is the Rogers. I'm only three chapters in, but I think the murderer is the Rogers, the two, like, butler people. Uh... I, I, I thought it was a little over the top that the wife collapsed as soon as they heard the gramophone of uh, the accusations. So, uh, 
yeah, that, little fishy for me. Uh, the third pick, of course, Stone Cold Lock, Detroit Lions, go into the Super Bowl and win again. Uh, to whatever the spread is, take it. Uh, whatever the future is, take it right now. They're winning. Easy money. Uh, thanks for having me on again, Fizz. I have a we I had a gambling website, but it uh, it went down. I'm under federal investigation. Technically, I can't gamble at all, but I can give you my picks. And those were the Garbanzo picks of the of 2023. See ya. Did she say don't talk so loud? Yes. That is the weirdest animal the toy I have ever seen in my she life. She says other things, but I think this she knows you very out, well. Oh, yeah, go, 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 try a couple more times. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I like to be poked. No, there's not. No. There's no let's way that's let's true. Let's try it one more yeah, time. Okay. Can, okay. okay. Can we get a camera zoom close, close on Baby Secrets? My name, my name is, is Baby, Baby Secrets. Baby Creeper? Oh, Secrets! Secrets. Okay. okay, can we try one more? Okay. Uh, I think there might be another one in the okay. chamber. All right, all right. Good close up okay. on that. Who's is awake? Anyone else awake? <gasps> oh. I think he's. I thought she said, Is your name Frank? <laughs> Might have. I, I don't know. Do, she's you either talking very about, happy or you've released her evil Does power. anyone know way, anybody awesome. named Frank? Well, actually. Frank Caliando is a comedian, I dead. think. Okay, well, hold on. because Frank Langella is an actor. It could have been Fred. Frank Fred Claus, because I slept with him, and that could have been a possibility. <gasps> I'm looking oh. for Nutmeg's daddy. Who are you looking for? Her daddy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> and so I was hoping that if I, you know, just put it out there, like, okay, if if you had, uh, you know, relations <laughs> on set with me, um, and during the years of, uh, well, just mainly one year, I guess that makes more sense, ninety three to ninety four. Um, Twenty nine years ago. Yeah, it's taken me a while to get around to doing this, but I'm finally ready to look for. Not Meg's dad. But you, you, you don't know who the Well, is. I mean, it could have been Buzz from Home Alone. Oh. Um, Woof. It could have been, hold up, that's, anyway. Um, he's a very successful botanist right now. I just want you guys to know that. He has, I'm sure he is. Uh, he, he actually created uh, these, these plants on set. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Goodness. Um, later on, good we need a good arborist on the island. Oh, maybe what? he would visit. Well, I'll yeah. man, I still have his number. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. um, Who else could it possibly? Have been? Uh, Fred Claus, uh, any one of the male solid gold dancers, uh, so the entire cast of Love Actually. Uh, oh, gosh, it's hard to Buddy the Elf. Uh, hmm. Yeah, co cover the doll's ears. It's, it's really hard. The, the old. Buddy the Elf's good. Yeah, he's what? actually. Surprised Although she's good at keeping secrets. She's good at keeping secrets, too. What, what about Yukon Cornelius? I couldn't make that out. Yukon Cornelius? Uh, no. But not, the not your type. heat miser. Not as he, cold as you would think. Yeah, I, 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 just I think he's just as warm as, as, as you think. Yeah. He needs to update his song. It's silver and gold and Bitcoin. Yeah. These days. <laughs> hey. How you doing? How are you? I'm good. I just noticed you look like a young Chris Kringle. <laughs> oh, have you? I've been told. Have that. you? Chris Kringle? You need your stocking stuff? I don't really kiss and tell, but yeah. <laughs> I mean. What about uh, Rudolph's dad? What was his name? Donner? Oh. I think so. You know what? I don't do bestiality. Oh, okay. But I, that's the one that I draw the line. That's where you draw the line. That's where you, well, we, were, we were trying to figure out where that line yeah. was drawn. And well, we're glad we were, we're I there feel now. like this is a solid line. It is a, it's a very solid line. Although I did make love to Jack Skellington, and he had quite a boner. Now, now, like, did it have, like, 
like three three joints, like a finger. I can't. I, don't, I can't. I'm trying to think the, of the anatomy really of that. We are marketing a lot of the toys too. To Jack Skellington's uh, town as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so yeah. nice. Because, they're a little because they need it. They yes, need it. Yes, yes. So and they're, they're more to accepting the, the they little They have the guy whose head spins around. They have the mayor. They, they are yeah. much more accepting of those that are a little off. Okay. Yes. I understand. We are getting more towards the end of the segment. So I wanted to ask you guys just some more personal questions. I think I know, uh, Misty, your answer. Um, but are you guys married, dating? Uh, what's your love life? like and uh your family family life like i like i know you said you have a daughter joe and helga uh family life love life well you know most of the time i'm taking care of the the, the babies um you know i got a little like you know i guess chris is got around in the younger days. So yes, we went out a few times. We were from the same neck of the woods. We were very young. This was so, so, so many years ago. Um, like a couple hundred? Yeah, yes, yes. Um, and then I, I think he, although he was, I think he was, I was only about 200 then. I think he was about 400. So he was a much older man at the time. But relatively speaking, but relatively it speaking, would be it like was all right. a 38-year-old yes. guy dating a 34-year-old one. Then, more like, more like 20 and 30. Okay, so, fair enough. You know. Um, but uh, yes, no, he was a wonderful, very wonderful, but he had quite a wandering eye. Oh, um, so I'm we, sorry we, to hear that. Yes, yes. So I, I always wonder what Mrs. Claus does the other 364 days of the year, uh, you know, when he's... Sad. Yes, yes. So um, maybe maybe that's why there are so many reindeer at the at the... At the North Pole. <laughs> well, I can tell you what she does a couple of days a year, and it's me, honey. So, oh, oh good interested. Oh, misty, misty. This is TV. What? This is this is rated TV fourteen. Oh. Oh, but Missy, are you currently dating anyone? Who am I not dating? Okay. I'm saying. Asked and answered. <laughs> uh, Mr. Everyman. Well, Same as question. You, as I mentioned, my third, fourth, and fifth wives. Martha. Mar Martha's. Uh, yeah. So after my ninth divorce, I just kept getting married. So uh, I'm up to 17 or 18, I think now. So but like that what, one's on its way out. What's, what's the formula of like marriage set time together than divorce? Is there like, is it like a yearly thing? Well, life on the road is hard on a marriage, Fizz. I mean, you can go. The from, law, the road is long You can hard. go from Lake Orion to Oxford sometimes even to Rochester, sometimes even to Grand Rapids. Wow. And you can expense those miles too, can't you, if you Absolutely. have an LLC? Yeah, they're a tax write-off. I'm, 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 I'm talking to Quail about that on the <laughs> podcast too. Fantastic. Earlier we mentioned that you, you sang about my two kids, and I wanted to mention them. And a shout-out to my two children. Torth and Glinkley. My son, he's 10. His name's Torth. He's addicted to Fortnite, and he's currently in rehab right now. He's in the seventh stint of, of Fortnite rehab. I've been to rehab. I bet you have. Uh, put him in your, your, your thoughts and prayers. My daughter, uh, Clankley, she's uh, 16, just learning how to drive. Uh, she's 16 going on, you know, 30, whatever. And then my wife, Cheryl, we've been together since the 80s. Yeah. So, anyway, that's my family. Just to put that out there, it's yeah. the yeah. ideal yeah. American family. Like. Yes. Yeah. Do you think Torth might be interested in if he likes what is the game? Fortnite. Fortnite. Do you think he might be interested in our jelly pistol? <gasps> it 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 has been waiting a long time, and 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 he we just have not been able to to figure out how to turn water. So we wanted to figure out ways that he could jet. You know. Jelly, and he would be wonderful for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I like that idea. You know, I like and, that. and it's and it's and and if Torres is into fighting and doing stuff like that, maybe if he has something that won't actually kill anyone, then maybe he might have fun, and and, and it'll take him time to clean things up, and, and it's sweet. And if I remember correctly, that little guy he can walk, right? He's got yes, legs. Yes, 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 exactly. To keep him busy, and 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 maybe he won't need, or he'll be able to get out of rehab. It would be yeah. a wonderful. Option maybe for he me. can be on uh, the, our next year's Christmas special. Uh, the, oh yes! Maybe my son Torth. <gasps> oh, that would be so yeah, exciting! With the, with the jelly gun. Yes. I'd love to have that. We, it, it, now, we, yes. Missy, you were 
making some pretty crazy faces when she was talking about a jelly gun. Well. Uh, do I dare ask, or should we just move on? <laughs> well, that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> just saying. Uh, jelly pistol. Okay. All right. We are almost at the end of the segment, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, do you have any last words you'd like to say to the audience? Anything, uh, any last words, anything you're trying to sell? I know you're still looking for for Meg's uh, father. Yeah. Uh, we will put up on our website and uh, our phone number one eight 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 Fizz Williams for people to call in and adopt. That would be wonderful. Uh, Ms. We have a Mr. Whole Iverman, over here. Yes, yes. Look over here. Over here. Over here. Uh, anything that you would like? To, uh, oh yeah, your album. Where can people find your album? Um, go to uh, Friendster. I'm still trying to figure out how to upload on there. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna. Uh, send everybody's uh, Hotmail accounts a link. Okay. Mm. Trying okay. to stay with the times. All right, and then uh, far below average, Joe. Are you are you printing out or uh, I should say manufacturing any physical hard copies in any form? Um, I'm gonna have to talk to Torth about that. He's the tech guy. He's gonna be, <laughs> That's he's, news to me. He's gonna be my provision. <laughs> he needs something to do once he gets out of uh, rehab. Hello and welcome back to the final segment of Pristine America, the Christmas special. We hope you've enjoyed the show and enjoyed the commercials and our advertisers. We have one last act, a local poet who wrote this poem specifically for this special. Here is Steve Harvey Oswald with his poem. Take it away, Steve. Thank you for having me on the show. Yep. It's called The Earth is Still So Cold. Tapping the blade welts in the skin this worn-out charade grown steadily thin, holding fast to fantasies and imaginary memories, the real ones buried deeply in darkened cemeteries. The tighter you shut your eyes, the easier the pretense. These phantom fakeries, so richly detailed and dense. While the specter of those tumors dampen the festive mood, I'm bound in wound, warm illusions so darkness won't intrude. Persevering through each night, to the dawn of uncertain days, through the days may bite eye, will grin in spite as we slowly decay. Extending my fingertips and pulling bed sheets in a desperate grip, quiet but for the bathtub, faucets steady, measured drip. I'm, I'm well aware of my bleak despair, yet attempt to keep it at bay. And despite my utter lack of hope, I still continue to pray. When I face you in your festive dress, my fail trees I conceal. I shall not address this emptiness so overwhelmingly real. In the warmth of your arms embrace, my vacant spirit has been temporarily replaced. Finn. Yay! Yes. Thank you, Steve Harvey Oswald. That was a beautiful poem, very uplifting, and a great way to end the show. Once again, everybody, thank you for tuning in uh, to Pristine America, the Christmas special, and we hope to have you again uh, next year. Once again, thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the guests. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody involved. Thank you, thank everybody. You. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Now, everybody. would you guys like to sing a Christmas song? What can we all agree yes. on? What does everybody know? I know a jingle bells. Uh, There's a beautiful yeah. song called Tentacles, Christmas Tentacles of Love. <laughs> yes. we don't no, like let's do Jingle Bells. Oh, jingle bells. Let's do Three, two, one. one. Jingle, jingle bells, jingle bells, bells jingle, bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! Thank you, everybody! Merry Christmas! Thank you. Merry Christmas! Oh, hey, Fizz! Santa's sleigh is not running on all eight cylinders. You better get over here and help me if we're going to have a Merry Christmas. Come on, man.